got to do things differently. And in order to do things differently, so our actions are down here. This is a body. Our actions come out here, and these are the results. Okay, so we have a thought or an idea comes to us from our superconscious mind, right? And it can come through other. You take the idea and run with it. So it comes in from outside. Now, it could be an idea that you suppress. We've got lots of those. And so he suppressed that idea, but not really. It was, it was always just here. He just wasn't taking the action on it because his belief system wasn't allowing him to do that. So he just he kept on to, to the idea, but other things weren't happening right thanks to this belief system. So you just have to change what you believe constantly. Every time you hear yourself passing judgment, whenever you hear yourself passing judgment, ask yourself, why is it that I believe that this is a big circle? It's actually a small circle compared to this circle. So why is it that I believe that? Is it true? And if you have any questions on that, give me a call. I can help you look at it. It probably isn't true. You can then go backwards and say, where did it come from? It doesn't matter where it came from. The fact is, it's a belief you have, and it isn't the truth. So then just move from there. So just look at the results that you're getting. Because our behavior, if you will, we have an idea, we think about it, and this is in my book, right? So if you've read my book, we have the idea, we think about it. As soon as we start thinking, you know, things are buzzing around here, up comes this guy with a paintbrush full of toxic paint to wipe out that idea, cover it over with all this negativity and say, are you crazy? When you were 28 years old, you made a quick decision. Look where that got you. Okay, well, that's not actually the truth. Or somebody down the road had a problem when they went to step into a, a, a new product, a new service. Well, that's not in your business and you don't even know what was happening in his mind. So that's what this belief system is all about. It comes running up from the basement. As soon as you start thinking, you're waking up the beast. The beast comes running up from, the, from down in the dungeon with this paintbrush covered with toxic paint of bad memories and slaps the paint all over your new idea, and that's where it goes. And then, because the behavior then, so we've got this, this is one, comes into two, wakes this guy up, three, who goes up here, and then this comes down, and this is our behavior. And our behavior now is in direct proportion to what the belief has told the, the idea that turned into a thought. Okay, so it was an idea, you're thinking about it. Then belief painted it all up. So now we've got this deformed thought and that's our behavior. That's the action we take on this. And the action then gives us these results. And then we determine if they're good or bad, big or small. And then that just goes right back. So with these results, we've got the, the um, judgment on the results. And the judgment goes right into our belief system. And if we judge it negatively, then we've just put more toxic paint in there. And it's just filling its vat of toxic paint. And this is constant, and it happens by the second, by the millisecond.